Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be talking to you, um, as you can see by the title of the video, wherever it's at, um, my labor and delivery story. Um, at the end of um, this video, I will have clips of when I was at the hospital um, for my labor and delivery. Um, but anyway, right now I'm just going to go ahead and kind of try to tell you off the top of my head what happened and then I'll show clips after so march 17th was my due date um and that day had came around and i had not went into labor yet so um i went to my doctor's office for the regularly scheduled doctor's visit and um after our initial checkup um she was slightly concerned that um the baby was a little it was getting a little too big for my frame because i am um pretty small so um she asked me if i wanted to be induced at this point um i was like yeah let's do that because um you know i was just ready to have him i was ready to see him and so we went ahead and scheduled to be induced um that day um at eight o'clock that night so after we left after my mom and i left the doctor's office um, we ran ahead to the 99 cent store, grabbed some snacks so my mom can have our little snacks while we were at the hospital. After we left there, we went back to the house. I then notified Levi that, sorry, I keep looking over because he's in the car seat making little noises. Um, I had texted, or I don't know if I texted or called Levi just to let him know. Uh, what was going on that I was going to be induced he was super excited so um, we waited around for a little bit um, until Levi got off work and then um, we went to Outback to have something to eat because I didn't want to go to the hospital and like be hungry and starving um, while I was at the hospital so I made sure I had got something to eat um, after that we um, came back to the house gathered our stuff for what we needed for the hospital stay and um 7 30 came around and we left to go to the hospital now in between us going to the hospital and actually um getting to the hospital i apparently got a phone call from the hospital saying that they didn't have any rooms available at that time i didn't get that message clearly because we got to the hospital got up to the labor and delivery floor and the lady was like um yeah i tried to call you and let you know that we don't have any rooms available right now but we'll give you a call when something is available um she was like something should be available tonight for sure um so instead of leaving the hospital um i decided to just stay there because i was like well they may come up with something soon it was eight o'clock she was like well they should have something tonight for sure i was like well i could sit here for four hours no big deal so my mom levi and i sat at the hospital and we were sitting around waiting for a room uh, it got to about 10 30 and my mom was like okay let's check and see what's going on because she was getting tired of sitting up there so she went up to labor and delivery and she was like yeah we've been sitting down here since eight o'clock um is anything available blah 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 and they were like oh my god we didn't know that you guys were going to be sitting down there we expected you to go home and we would call you and the lady anyway she was like well it's taking a little bit longer than we expected you might want to go home so at about 11 o'clock we left the hospital went back to the house and two hours later at one o'clock in the morning they called us and said they had a room available so we ran back up to the hospital we got there about 11 15 or 1 15 in the morning and um it ended up working out really nice because we got a really nice room <laughs> um because we had sat there and waited <laughs> so they gave us a really nice room but um so we got there about 1 15 and, and about 1 30 sorry let me try to give him his his thing where where did i put it where did i put it because he's fussing oh okay okay He's fussing. Okay. So, at about 1.30, um, 
they came in and gave me my IV and all that, set all of that stuff up. They did a check on me. Oh, I forgot to say, when I went to um, my doctor's appointment, I was two centimeters dilated, but I did not know because I didn't feel anything. I did not feel any contractions or anything. But anyway, so at 1.30, they gave me the IV, checked me and everything. I was still two centimeters dilated, blah, blah, blah. So at about 3, 3.30 in the morning, uh, one of the nurses comes in and she goes to check me and um, like she's checking. And then all of a sudden, like this warm fluid just gushed from my body. And she was like, oh, well, I just broke your water for you. And I was like, oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> like, okay. So water got broken and, you know, right after that you can really feel those contractions because the the water the fluid you know it's like a cushion in there so you really don't feel it as much but so yeah so I started feeling the contractions and then the contractions were coming like every two minutes which was like giving me no break um, and I was still not really dilating to anywhere so um, one of the nurses comes in and she's like, do you want to have an epidural? And I was like, yeah, let's do the epidural. So we got the epidural, which was not bad at all. It was like, it was like nothing. It took like 10 minutes done. So, um, and then they gave me, um, some Pitocin and all of that. And, um, you know, so those contractions were hitting, but still I was not, I was not really dilating. I mean, uh, I was dilating really, 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 really slowly. So, I'm going to try not to make this video, like, really long. It's already at 7 minutes, so I'm going to try to keep it under 10. Um, so, yeah, okay. So, um, they're checking me. I'm drinking the water, having my fluids, all of that good stuff. I mean, just nothing. Just really not progressing to anything. So, it came to about 10... around 10 something that night and one of the nurses comes in and she checks me and she's like I think I don't think this is his head right here I think this is his butt I was like what no that ain't his butt so she calls in another um nurse comes in checks and the nurse is like no that's his head blah 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 so long story short it was his butt that was down in my pelvic area um and that's why he wasn't moving um he wasn't dropping because um, he was breached. Um, so I had to end up having an emergency C-section. I had to end up having an emergency C-section because he was breached. His butt was down by my pelvic area. and His head and feet were kind of, you know, up towards my um, chest. So he was like in, um, he was like in a, he was folded, basically. Um... Are you hot, Papa? Is it too hot? Let me get that off of you. Okay. So, yeah, I had, had to end up having an emergency C-section. So, another anesthesiologist came in and gave me some more medicine that literally numbed me from, like, the waist down. Like, I couldn't feel anything. It was so weird. Um, that feeling uh, is so weird. Like, I couldn't move my legs. And that, uh, that was bothering me. That, uh, I didn't like that at all. So anyway, after he gave me um, the medicine, they came in about 10 minutes later and gave Levi all the stuff that he needed to prep him for the operating room. You know, they put the, he had to put the gown and the cap and all of that stuff on. So they came in um, and um, like I said, about 10 minutes later, they came in and they wheeled me off to the operating room. So I get to the operating room. I'm not going to lie. I was a little nervous. Um, not for the procedure more because I was worried that I was going to feel the pain of them cutting me, but I didn't. It was more of, um, it was more of a tugging and pulling sensation. So after they got him out, I mean, you could just feel all that pressure come from my stomach. He, um, it took him a minute to cry, but he finally did. And then I cried, and then I was like, Levi, is he cute? And um, he is, he's cute. Anyway, so it's getting around to this 10 minutes, so I'm gonna wrap it up. 
and um, just show you guys video clips of my labor and delivery. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, um, please leave them in the inbox below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I think that's everything from what I can remember. Um, if not, it should be covered in the videos, the video clips I'm about to show. Um, other than that, he was 7 pounds, 7 ounces, and 19 inches long. He was born at 11.40 p.m. on March 18th. So, yeah, that's my labor and delivery story. Um, go ahead, check the videos out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, everybody. It is March 17th, about 8.13 in the p.m., and apparently I missed the call where they were trying to tell me from the hospital that they didn't have any rooms available. Uh, right now so <clears throat> the lady told me at some point tonight <laughs> they should have a room available so I'm just sitting down here in the lobby waiting on mama and Levi to get back from Wendy's so I could put something on my tummy before I actually get admitted into the hospital um, but yeah we're here and so we'll keep you posted and updated well I'm up here at the hospital um, apparently they called my phone <laughs> must have been on silent they called my phone to let me know not to come up at 8 o'clock because they didn't have any rooms available. Apparently, today is a good day to be in labor. So, um, I'm just here down in the lobby. Um, I didn't want to go all the way back. To, well, the house is only like 10 minutes from the hospital. But, um, I didn't want to go all the way back to the house and have to drive back up here. So, Mama and Levi, I went to go get some Wendy's. And I'm just sitting here chilling. Hopefully it don't take them too long to call me back for a room. So Hey everybody. So um been at the hospital for almost two hours now. We got here at about 1.15 and it's 2.50 in the morning. Um we had to leave earlier because they didn't have any rooms available. Then they called us back at like um, 1 o'clock. And we got up here at the hospital about 1.15 and, and got situated. Um, so yeah, they just put the IV on me. Um, they're going to start the Pitocin in about 10 minutes. And that I'll get like two drops every 30 minutes. Um... As of right now, everything's been going pretty good. Um, my mom was asking me earlier if I had been feeling any contractions. And I was like, well, if I've been feeling them, I mean, if I've been getting them, I haven't been feeling them. And when I got here, and they hooked me up and everything. She was like, well, yeah, you have been having contractions. They're about <laughs> uh, two to three minutes apart. But I wasn't feeling anything. So that's why they gave me the Pitocin. So, you know. Um, it can jump start everything and get everything going but I'll keep you guys updated hey everybody um, I guess you can see in the background the time it's like almost 10 30 in the morning uh, March 18th 2015 and um, we've been here since 1 15 about 1 15 1 30 um, this morning they started me on the Pitocin at uh, 3. Um, so I've had it for a couple of hours, but I still haven't dilated past 2. Um, I know things take a while, but I don't know. I mean, I definitely feel the contractions way more than I did when I first came in. Because I wasn't feeling them at all when I first came in. And I was at 2 centimeters, but... I don't know. I just I don't know if it's working. Like he's still up pretty high. He hasn't tried to move down a little bit with the contractions. I don't know. So we'll see. I guess the next time they come in and check me, see where I'm at. Um, if I haven't dilated past two, I guess I'll be asking some questions. So keep you posted. Little room tour. Obviously, that's the door you come in, and it's a little storage room where they have like the mirror in case I want to see myself giving birth. Um, I guess that's where they have like the extra little stuff uh, for the baby 
and whatnot. See what you mean? Honey, you're good to sip like this as long as we can monitor baby. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. You feeling okay? Yeah. How's your pain? Our little room tour. We had to wait till 1.30 in the morning to get this nice big room that they'd got for us. It's a little storage area. Some more storage. And some more storage. And then it actually goes over there pretty pretty big. The trash can. Here's a little sink. The bathroom's in there. Let me turn the light on so you guys can see. The bathroom with a little pull for help tabs because you fall. Biohazard. And they gave us a tub. A nice, fairly deep, wide tub. Shower. There's another pull for help tab thing. And that's pretty much the tour. And there's the girl of the year. <laughs> so, um, the nurses took out the room, the anesthesiologist was in here about 10 minutes ago, it's 1.30, so uh, they were in here about 1.20, and he gave me the epidural, um, she just got finished cleaning me up and putting the catheter in, which was not bad at all, like, um, she said I did really good while I was getting the epidural. I had a contraction. I really didn't move um, until he like put the needle in because um, just the initial um, thing of him putting the uh, needle in. But um, doing pretty good. So very um, good. My legs are getting very numb, <laughs> and um, I'm glad I don't have to get up and go. <laughs> anymore now that the catheter is in there but I'm feeling pretty good right now I'm super excited and I just can't wait for him to get here so we'll keep you all posted bye hey everybody it's 10 20 um, I just got done talking to the nurse um, Nikki had a lot of old blood around her legs when they just checked her she's eight centimeters now um, I just went out and talked to him and he said that uh, she just had a lot of fluid discharge from the current contraction she just had and um, the nurse told me that they're going to give her two hours before they start doing a c-section or recommend a c-section or something like that I couldn't remember exactly what she said but it was something along those lines um, so and the nurse said she was going to be here in here in a little bit um, to talk to us and check the fluid that she just uh, released. Okay, that's just a quick update. Hey everybody, Bye. so um, this morning on March 19th, 2015, and we had to end the cabinet and emergency C-section because Boogie was breached. Other than that, he was dilating good. Um, he's eating good. <laughs> didn't have any problems latching on so um but yeah we had to have an emergency c-section um what else let me think um yeah it went pretty quick um I'm not gonna lie I was a little nervous about it but Definitely. um he's here and that's he the most here. important thing and, I'm and he's okay. healthy hey everybody just wanted to give you a quick little update on Yuri he uh was born March 18th at 11:47 p.m., um, he measured seven pounds seven ounces and was 19 inches long, and he is just gorgeous. Can't wait for you guys to see him. Bye bye.